welcome back to the channel. I sent out that digital dash with the emission module to get programmed, but the dash needs to be a virgin dash unused for the bike to be able to be programmed to the used dash. So I'm gonna turn on the used dash, see what lights come on, see what comes up on the dash because I still don't know the miles on this bike and I don't know if the used dash has a different mileage reading. So I'm gonna turn on this used dash, see if it even turns on and see what numbers they have on it. right here there's race mode sport mode and wet mode so I'm in race mode right now but I still don't know the miles on this thing because it doesn't say anything next to the kil kilometers down there whoa so I just accessed the menu on this thing rpm battery pin code lock date backlight units oh this is weird pin code i don't know what that is it's not 6 30 in the morning here so all the settings on this bike is set to kilometers so i believe this dash was from overseas which is why all the settings are different i'm not entirely sure why the total miles is flashing like that maybe i need to have the bike on and warmed up a little bit for it to read it i'm not sure about that but i know this abs light is definitely because the bl the brakes have been opened up multiple times and there's no pressure in the system but for now guys we've got tons of packages to open so let's get cracking I'm quickly regretting my decision to go aftermarket on this front headlight bracket as all of these bolt areas, I'm unable to actually get the bolt in there because there's so much junk and paint clogged up in there that it won't even thread in. This is as far as I got this one to thread in without my impact ruining the bolt completely as I already ruined one of the bolts. So I'm gonna have to order that. I'm putting together the front end of the bike just to make sure everything is where it's supposed to go and I have the right parts and the right bolts. I'm making a list right down here as I'm looking at the diagram online to make sure I have everything and I have the right bolts. diagnosing the front headlights I couldn't get them to turn on the high beams work but the headlights do not so I was looking at fuses here number four is the lights fuse which is a 10 amp so on the picture number one two three and four this 10 amp right here but when I look on the bike on the right front fuse relay it's a 30 amp 15 20 and then that's supposed to be a 10 but it's a 15 so I wonder why that's there and I wonder if putting a 10 there will make it work or maybe this 15 is here and because it's a 15 there's too much voltage running through this that it actually messed up the whole headlight assembly and the wiring so if you guys know let me know please because i have no idea i'm going to do some other diagnosing of the fuses check everything and we'll see if they work out No 
conclusion on the daytime running lights for the headlight assembly on this Ducati. So I just moved on, put the whole rear end together. Now I'm gonna move on to something else, but I wanted to point out this sweet carbon I got, guys. I'm trying to add as much little carbon touches to this bike as I can, because I think it looks really cool, but we got more carbon on the way, so stay tuned. But what I'm really waiting for is my whole a wheel assembly and the shaft in the middle, as once I get those, I can finally start putting together the front of this bike as I already got my other shock in the mail and this is a phonic wheel which is what the speed um, sensor reads off of. Here are my four shocks. The two on the right are the good ones. The two on the left are the bad ones. Let's start swapping everything over. and the phonic wheel on. It's ready for those new forks and the shaft. We've got a few packages, opened them up. We got some mirrors, got some new brake and clutch levers for the bike because the pink that was previously on the bike does not fit my style. Nor do I think it looks good with the red on the bike, which is gorgeous. Last but not least, we got a full carbon piece, which actually connects three of the plastic pieces in the front here together and makes it one beautiful carbon piece. black handlebars because my other handlebars are bent but as you can see that's more of a navy blue than a black so i grabbed some g1 shadow black mustang paint and we're gonna paint these suckers bars and the new brake and clutch levers are in in the front of this bike now guys all I'm really waiting for is the lower triple tree which slides in right underneath here and connects the forks the wheel everything together 
and that's what I'm waiting on. It's coming from Ukraine, along with the shaft that goes directly through the rim on the bike holding the forks together. This is completely random and off topic, but about three minutes ago, I heard some noise out here, just right outside the garage, and the propane tank was actually just stolen from the grill, which is completely weird, because I was literally in there talking when all the lights are on, and I heard it. I heard a rustle out here and then a car speed off. So we just lost the propane tank. And because of that guys, I was gonna actually start the bike and open up the garage and let this bike run for a bit just to check flu fluid levels and see it run for a decent amount of time without getting carbon monoxide poisoning. But now I don't feel very confident and safe with opening the garage for that long, especially tonight with all that's happened recently. So I'm gonna cut it here guys. Can't wait to get that shaft in and the shaft to the rim so I can finally, finally get this thing on two wheels. Catch you all in the next video. See ya.